Come to the Python, learn together, code together. Now we will see something about how to get the shape and the size of the array in NumPy using the NumPy. Okay. So for that, I'm going to open the Python interpreter and uh, yeah. Uh, and this, I'm going to import uh, uh, imp import NumPy as uh, NP. Okay as np any name you can use import uh, numpy as np and um, uh, yeah it's imported uh, yeah it's uh, importing yeah it's imported now first of all uh, before getting now how to uh, see the number of elements or shape of the uh, that means array uh, first of all we need to create the array that means n dimensional arrays for example now i'm going to create the two dimensional uh, array for that um, that is basically called as the matrix a equals to uh, here np dot uh, array np dot array and uh, uh, here two dimension because okay here it is the one dimension and uh, inside this i'm going to uh, write uh, the another uh, list that is the nested list so it becomes the two dimension okay uh, now uh, yeah this is the yeah uh, like this i'm going to write uh, uh, here okay yeah this is the yeah, now it's the two dimension here you can see it is the uh, nested list inside the list so here i need to specify its elements one two three four five six and uh, uh, seven eight nine okay uh, now we can see it's the two dimensional one two three four five six and seven eight nine so here each this uh, comma will going to uh, differentiate us from the that means uh, uh, when we consider this as the matrix then this is the next row and uh, then comes the next row that means uh, three rows are there okay uh, but technically it has a zero row per row in the second row so and zero column per column in the second column now uh, in order to now the number of that means dimension or the number of axis or its dimension if some array is uh, given then uh, how to find its uh, dimension or uh, in uh, in numpy we call that as the axis okay axis means dimension dimension of the array then uh, we can just simply use a dot that means the our array name okay anything n dimensional array name okay it's uh, generally called as um, uh, nd array okay nd array but here uh, our array name is a so a dot and here i need to use n d i m that means uh, it will going to gives us the uh, the dimension of the array which dimension is this a array is uh, then uh, a dot uh, n dimension uh, i think we need to use this uh, plot bracket will check uh, int object is uh, uh, okay for this uh, okay uh, a dot uh, n dimension yeah don't use the common brackets just type a dot n dime a dot n dimension okay n d i m then it will give us the dimension of this um, uh, any array okay here you can see it is the two dimension uh, for example if i have the uh, three dimension that means um, i'm going to uh, write now 3d array 3d array equals 2 and uh, here uh, np dot array np dot array this has to be in common bracket and this is the uh, first dimension and uh, okay this is the first dimension and inside this i'm going to have uh, this the second dimension okay oh sorry uh, yeah sorry sorry i need to type it again uh, yeah this is the two dimension and inside this uh, if I have another list that means another nested list then I'm going to have this as a three dimension now yeah now it becomes a three dimension you can see okay I, I will differentiate this then uh, you will come to see exactly uh, this is the first dimension and uh, uh, here you can see you not here yeah this is another and uh, yeah now i think uh, it's understanding okay because it contains uh, of um, uh, three 
nested lists so it is the three dimension so here i need to specify the elements okay one comma two comma three and uh, uh two comma three comma four anything two three four and here three comma four comma five and here five comma six comma seven and uh, here uh, seven comma eight comma nine and here two comma five comma six and elements we can specify uh, now uh, if we check the a it is the three dimension you can see that but uh, how to come to now whether it's a three dimension how to check uh, at that time i can just call this as a yeah i again redeclared that a uh, so we just have to a dot and dimension now you can see it is three dimensional array that means it is uh, given as the axis uh, we can even uh, equalize this to any of the variable for example uh, v equals to a dot um, n dim then if we check the value of v it is 3 like that we can even um, uh, assign this uh, dimension that means access to the any variable and uh, even uh, if you want to check the total number of elements in this array that means these are all the elements 1 2 3 2 3 4 these are the elements uh, if you want to check the total number of elements in this array then uh, i can just use um, uh, a dot uh, size okay one is the a dot uh, n dim and another one is the a dot size okay here you can see it is 18 uh, 18 means here you can see 1 2 3 3 3 6 9 12 15 and 18 so total elements are 18 so it is giving the 18 a dot size is 18 so by using this a dot size we will get the total number of uh, elements in any of the arrays that means in uh, numpy any of the arrays uh, and um, in order to get the uh, the number of elements in each dimension okay that means uh, in three dimension how many elements are there in two dimension in one dimension like that you'll come to know when i show this example uh, now if i call uh, uh, a dot shape okay this is the another feature from this numby if i call a dot shape we will see uh, this is a tuple okay because it is enclosed in um, normal brackets so tuple uh, so a dot shape will return us the tuple which containing what is this three okay three means in a three dimension when we see this array in three dimension it consists of okay this is one element this much is the one element and this is the another element and this is the another element when we come in 3d when we visualize that in 3d there are mainly three so it gives us as three okay then when we come to the 2d 2d means only this much row and the column when we come to the 2d how many uh, mainly how many elements are there when we uh, visualize this to the 2d here we can see this is the one and this is the another so we get two here okay and um, uh, when we come to the one dimension like this how many elements we have three elements one two three so we will have three here that is what this nd uh, that means uh, n dimensional array dot shape will give us n dimensional array means your array name array name dot shape will give us for example if i have the my uh, array as um, okay uh, um, b equals to uh, n p dot um, array and uh, here i need to have like this okay uh, one uh, and inside this uh, another uh, comma another that means it is a two dimensional array and here one comma two comma three comma four and uh, here uh, two comma five comma six comma seven okay as this has to be comma uh, yeah now uh, we can check now b is like this now if i want to check the dimension then i can just call b dot um, n d i m then you can see you will get two since it's a two dimensional array and if you want to check the total number of elements then we can just uh, call b dot uh, size and uh, okay here it has eight that means eight elements are there and uh, if you type for b dot shape as a -E, shape this uh, called is the shape of the array that means uh, in uh, how many uh, in decreasing order the dimension it will give us the elements in uh, three uh, in yeah it is in two dimension so in uh, two dimension how many elements are there 
uh, this is the one and uh, this is the two when we visualize from the two dimension so it uses the two and when we come to the one dimension it has a four elements so here four is that i think you have understand about uh, these things and it dot uh, that means any array any your array name dot uh, shape and its size and uh, uh, another thing is the dimension i think you have understand about this thank you